welcome to You Bet Your Ass. Please welcome your host, Stuart Francis. Hello and welcome to You Bet Your Ass. I'm Stuart Francis. I'll be your host today. Our uh, soup of the day is beef barley. Our entree special is smoked salmon fettuccine. And our dessert special is the deliciously decadent Santara! Hi, Satara. Hey, Stuart. You wouldn't have to be hungry, would you? I am starving. <laughs> well, what's wrong? Didn't your mom pack you lunch today? My mother doesn't have any arms. Oh. Well, I do. Um, and these are our contestants right here. Why don't you meet them? Okay. Up first, we have Greg, who's the youngest Rhodes Scholar ever. Uh, beside him is Erica who's twice been nominated for a Pulitzer Prize, and we have beside her Chris, who collects Blossom memorabilia. I know what you guys want. You want a piece of ass. Each question in this round is worth 100 points. Unless you feel really confident about the category, then you can double down for 200 points, but you will have to get both of those questions right. If you get it wrong, someone else could buzz in and steal it from you. Keep your eyes out for the wild card. That's your chance to steal 500 points from another player if you get that question right. You each get 1,000 points to start. Stuart? We determine backstage who goes first by the person who has met the biggest star. With being in a cab driven by Ricky Martin, Greg, you're up first. Let's get you a category. Hit me! Where am I hungover, Greg? Where, where, I ask you, where am I hungover? Double down. Doubling down. I woke up in the Malastrana, puking up cheap Czech Pilsner on Dominic Hasek. Where am I hungover? Czechoslovakia. <laughs> Judges? <laughs> no. Erica, Chris, I might have helped you there a little. <laughs> Czech Republic, Prague to be specific. Erica, let's get you a category, hit me. <laughs> Celebrity siblings, what would you like to do? Girlfriend? Double Doubling down? Yeah. Here we go. What medium-sized star was married to Nicolas Cage has an actor brother, David, and an actor sister, Rosanna. Uh, Patricia Arquette. Patricia Arquette is right. <laughs> and did you know that the band Toto's hit song, Rosanna, was written uh, about uh, Rosanna Arquette? I did not, no. Let's get your second question now. Here we go. What older brother of Charlie has played a repo man, Paul Abdul's husband, and coached the Mighty Ducks? Uh, Emilio Estevez. Exactly right. Both questions on the double down. Well done, Erica. Chris, let's get you a category. Hit me. <laughs> Diseases I've had lately. Single. Single. Thank you. I don't have to play sports to get what kind of foot fungus? Athlete's foot. Athlete's foot is right. Well done, Chris. Greg, let's get you a category. Hit me. <laughs> Survivor. Are you one? One. Just, just one. one? Just one. Okay. What gushy couple upped the reality TV ante by getting married after they met on Survivor? Mm, Richard Hatch and a, a woman. And his fat ass? No, no. Erica, Chris? Robin Amber. Erica? Robin Amber is right. Well done, Erica. And it even gets better. It's your category. Hit me. What the chickens is that? That, Stuart, is the wild card. This is your chance to steal 500 points from one of these two if you get the question right. So who do you want to steal from? I'm going to steal from Chris. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Your category is they won an Oscar? 3-6 Mafia proved it's easy out there for a pimp after winning a Best Original Song Oscar for what movie in 2006? Hustle and Flow. Exactly right. Woo! Well done, you. Chris, let's get you into this game. Let's get you a category. Hit me. Child star. I used to be one. Single, double down. Single. Single. What former child star made men uncomfortable in The Professional and very happy in 2004's Closer? Erica? Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman is right. Someone came to play. Greg, let's get you a category. Hit me. I shot the dentist. Uh, single, please. Single. Aw. Oh. Whose brand of white strips got the hee-haw hicks happy by promising to make teeth several shades whiter. Crest? Crest is right, yes. <laughs> Erica, let's get you a category. Hit me. <laughs> U.S. state nicknames. <laughs> You're smart and everything else. Why stop now? No, single. Single. Yeah. Clunk. 
<laughs> what state is known to many as the Golden State and to some as the will eventually sink into the Ocean State? California. California is right. Well done, Erica. Chris, let's get you a category. Hit me. Spanish 101. Double. Double. Hola, mi amor. Mas papas, por favor. You're doubling? Si. Si. What Spanish phrase meaning see you later does Arnold Schwarzenegger say to people before he murders them in Terminator 2? Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista. Well done, you. Second question, Chris. What Mexican Independence Day gets its name from the day it's on, May 5th? Cinco. Yeah, well, you can't buzz in, Eric. You almost had it. Cinco de Mayo. Or Cinco de Mayo. Uh, uh, Greg, let's get you a category. Hit me. South Park. Yes, finally. Finally, something I know everything about. Uh, double down. Doubling down. I talked him into it. What veteran is hard to understand because he speaks with an electronic voice box? Uh, uh old guy? Uh, no. Erica, Chris? Ned, it would be Ned. Ah. No more bets. Ned, yet, I'm around the night. Wow, it looks like Erica is in the lead spot. She's got 2,000 points. Chris with 300 and Greg with 600. Nice work, Erica. And Chris and Greg, you're getting your asses kicked by a girl. I love it. Stick around. There's more You Bet Your Ass action coming up after the break. Welcome back to You Bet Your Ass, or as it's known today, Erica taking out the trash. What's up now? Pretty, pretty, Sitara. Well, now, Stuart, it's time to turn the lights down low and turn the heat up high. Yeah, this is the Dirty Dozen. <laughs> Contestants, you are going to be randomly asked four different questions each. When the light stops on you and Stuart says your name, it's your turn to answer. And you get 500 points for correct answers. You will not lose points for wrong answers. Stuart? I'm a dirty wee monkey. If you have too much to drink, you might say, I have to pee like what type of animal? Chris. A horse. A racehorse. Well done, you. What gimpy racehorse had a name like a watercracker and gave hope for the underdog by beating a triple crown winner in 1938? Erica. Seabiscuit. Seabiscuit is right. In Seabiscuit, what actor bridged the gap between a half-blind jockey and his half-gimp horse? Greg. Toby Maguire. Jeff Bridges. <laughs> Jeff Bridges plays a suspicious rock journalist in Masked and Anonymous, opposite what freewheeling, freewheeling folk singer? Chris. Were you trying to say Bob Dylan? Bob yeah. Dylan. What Bob Dylan song asked lonely losers, how does it feel to be on your own, like a complete unknown? Chris. Me. <laughs> Not knowing this answer. Like a Rolling Stone. Nice try. Or was it? No, you didn't do anything. Rolling Stone magazine helped launch the career of what filmmaker who wrote about his roadie adventures in Almost Famous? Erica. I have no idea. Cameron Crowe. Cameron Crowe wrote what movie starring Sean Penn as a stone surfer Spicoli in 1982? Greg. Fast times at Ridgemont High. They were indeed. Well done, you. Ridgemont High is a fictional high school based on Crowe's experiences growing up in what second largest California city? Erica. San Diego. San Diego's right. I love the way you say San Diego. If you're in San Diego, you can watch what NFL football team play a home game? Chris. S San Jose. <laughs> you're adorable. We love you. San Diego Chargers. The San Diego Chargers play at what stadium, named after a wireless telecommunications company? Greg. Tell us. Qualcomm Stadium. They're laughing at you. How uncomfortable for you. Qualcomm Stadium has hosted two concerts by what legendary Steel Wheels British rock band? Erica. The Rolling Stones. The Rolling Stones. Just guessing. She keeps getting them right. What Stones member is rumored to be making a cameo as the father of Jack Sparrow in the third installment of The Pirates of the Caribbean? 
Greg. Keith Richards. Keith Richards is right. That is the end of the Dirty Dozen. Satara. Thank you, Stuart. Wow, great game here. Eric has got 3,500. Chris has 800. And Greg has 1,600. And when I mean it's a great game, I mean that Greg and Chris don't know anything. It's so fun. But don't worry, because that could all change now, because this is up your ass. <laughs> This round is similar to the first round, but the point values have doubled. Each question is now worth 200 points. You can still double down on it for 400 points, and you each get 1,000 points to continue. Stuart? Thank you, Satara. Chris, you're up now. We can't wait for your answers. Let's get you a category. Hit me! WB! Double. Doubling. Doubling and WB. Wilford Brimley is a spokesman for what sweet disease, popular amongst the elderly and obese? Diabetes. Diabetes is right. Dr. Chris says he likes to be called. Second question. What 1980s series featuring a not so popular Shannon Doherty did Wilford Brimley star in? 90210. Oh. Beverly Hills 90210. She wasn't popular there, but no. Our house. I'm sorry, Chris. Greg, let's get you a category. Hit me. Tubs. Tubs. Double down. Are you more of a shower guy or tub guy? Are you doubling tub, down? Here tub. we go. What actor revived Philip Michael Thomas's suave portrayal of Tubbs in the 2006 version of Miami Vice? Uh, Jamie Foxx. How do you say it? What? That's weird. Yeah, Jamie Foxx is right. <laughs> little stammering, little stuttering, and the right answer. Well done, you. What 60s rocker took his last drunken breath in a tub and sang This Is The End at the age of 27? Jim Morrison. Jim Morrison is right. Red. Alive and well. Erica, let's get you a category. Hit me. Album names. Album names. Whatever could that mean? Single. Single. She's got a hunch. What Prince album foreshadowed a kick-ass party, but not the Millennium Bug Y2K? 1999. 1999 is right. Well done, Erica. Chris, let's get you a category. Hit me. Family Guy. Single. Just a single. Ironically, Brian became addicted to what substance after accepting a job with the police as a drug-sniffing dog? Cocaine. Cocaine is right. Right up your alley. Greg, let's get you a category. Hit me. Theme songs. Theme songs. Single. Just single. a single. Ah, oh, boo! I Don't Wanna Wait was the theme song for this teen drama that starred a pre-Tomcat Katie Holmes. Dawson's Creek. Dawson's Creek is right. You're gay. Erica, let's get you a category. Hit me. Tall, skinny women. Ow! Ow! Double. Doubling. What German supermodel hosts a project reality show? Her. Oh. Say it. Heidi Greg. Klum. No, Heidi no. Klum. <laughs> and Erica, you have uh, Eric to thanks. It's Heidi Klum. Well done, Greg. Second part of a double down. You have to get this part right, Greg. What irritable English supermodel likes to fight her assistants and once danced with Michael Jackson for his video in the closet? Naomi Campbell. No, it's still Greg's turn because he stole oh. from you. What's the answer, Greg? Kate Moss. Oh my, how awkward. She was right. Why are you doing that? Naomi Campbell is right. It's Chris's category. Erica's going to help you, Chris. Don't worry about it. Let's get you a category right now. Hit me. Beverly Hills. Double. Here we go. Erica, Chris. What large, stinky, this is for Chris, by the way, Erica. <laughs> what large, stinky city does Beverly Hills form the western part of? Chris? Erica? Los Angeles. Correct! Well done, you! This is a double down. You have to get the second part right to get all the, the, uh, the points. On what expensive shopping street could you expect to sell a kidney just to buy a Cartier watch? Rodeo, Rodeo Drive. Rodeo Drive is right. Get back on that horse, Greg. Let's get you a category. Hit me! Sopranos, yes. Double. Yes, double no down. help from Erica. You're on your own here. What NYC University did Tony's daughter Meadow attend on The Sopranos? Uh, no, Erica, Chris? Columbia. Let's get Erica ah. out of That's the end of the round. No more bets, Sitar. Thank you, Stuart. Erica has 4,700 points. Greg has 2,400. And Chris has 1,200. And after the break, will Erica hold on to that lead spot? Will Greg catch up? Will Chris continue to lose terribly? Find out next.
Welcome back to You Bet Your Ass, or as Chris calls it, the worst day of his life. What's up now, Sitara? Now, contestants, it is time to go hard or go home, because this is Ass on the Line. Okay, contestants, you're gonna be given a category of your choice that has three different questions in each. You can bet whatever you want on each question as long as you have enough points to continue and as long as you place a minimum 500 point bet. The contestant with the most points at the end of the round will be our winner. Let's find out who it is, Stuart. Here we go, Erica, with your combination of brains and beauty, something that I'm no stranger to. Let's get you four categories to look at. Sports movies, Kentucky Fried Celebrities, Famous Guys, Tiger Woods. What would you like, my friend? Famous Guys. Famous Guys! You have 4,700 points. Your nearest competitor is Greg with 2,400, and Chris sits on the other side of you. What would you like? Your first wager. 2,500. 2,500. What hockey guy or guy scared opponents with the vicious nickname, The Flower? Guy Lafleur. Guy Lafleur is right! It's that easy. 7,200 points. Your second question's wager. I'm gonna go with 2,500. 2,500 again. What English film director currently does the bangers and mash with Madonna? Guy Ritchie. Guy Ritchie is right! Third question, 9,700 points. I don't know if we go over 10,000. What are you gonna do? Uh, let's go for 3,000. We'll find out. 3,000, last question. What actor made our brains hurt by trying to follow his warped thoughts in Memento? Oh, Him. Guy Pierce. Judges, it was after the buzzer. No, but you're right, it is Guy Pierce. We turn to Greg. It makes it more interesting. We thank you for that, Erica. You're not pleased with it, but Greg, you're, uh, there are three remaining categories. Which would you like to choose from? Sports movies, please. Sports movies. Now, Erica has 6,700 points. You have 2,400 points. What's your wager on your 1,400. First 1,400. Didn't even let me finish the question. Here we go. What 1980 Bill Murray golf flick was billed as a comedy with balls? Caddyshack. Caddyshack is right. <laughs> 3,800 points to Erica's 6,700 points. Your second question's wager. 2,000. 2,000. In what baseball movie did Billy Bob Thornton surprise us all by playing a washed up alcoholic? Bad News Bears. Bad News Bears is right. 5,800 points to Erica's 6,700 points. Your last question's wager. What is it? Um, 5,000. 5,000. Ooh. <laughs> you guys are into it all of a sudden. What 2000 cheerleading movie made Kirsten Dunst do backflips as a breakout star? Get, yeah, uh, get, uh. Erica's saying, bring it on, Greg, bring it on! <laughs> Ouch, put your head down in shame. Chris, we turn to you. Kentucky Fried Kentucky celebrities. Fried Celebrities. You have 1,200 points. Erica has 6,700 points. What do you want to wager in your first question? All in. Really, are you sure? That was you under the game. If you, you understand, okay. I'm gonna do it. Good luck. What actor, Scientologist, and expert on non-medicated psychology was raised in Louisville? Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise is right! All right. All right. Wow, that was close. 2,400 points. Erica, 6,700 points. All in. All in. What Kentucky-born actor beefed up for 2005 Syriana? George Clooney. George Clooney is right! <laughs> Who woke up, Chris? 4,800 points to Erica's 6,700 points. What are you doing, my friend? All in. It's the all in kid. Here you go. What hustler porn king got his first feeling below the belt in the state of Kentucky? Sylvester Stallone. No. Larry Flint was the, uh, he published Hustler. That's okay. You didn't know anything about porn. In many ways, you look good. Thank you. Even better, Erica, you are today's winner. <laughs> Greg, Chris, you are not today's winners, but we thank you for coming. Greg, come on, you're on TV still. Come on, there you go. Thank you. Thanks for coming out, guys. Please leave. Sitar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Erica is our winner. It's already been rotten. She's won $500, not bad, but she may have a chance to win $2,000 more in the bonus round. Stick around. <laughs> Welcome back to your Bet Your Ass. I'm here with today's winner, Erica! 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 No one's doing it. Oh, they are doing it. Congratulations. Now, you've won $500. You get to keep that. 
No one can take that away from me. What are you going to do with that money? I'm going to go out for dinner. Oh, where do you want to take me? Well, actually, I'm going to take my boyfriend out for Thai food. Ooh, I hope you get served like I just did. <laughs> now, we're going we're gonna to try to get you even more money. We're, we got $500. We want to give you $2,000 more. More. That's what he's trying to say. So you can get pad thai with meat and prawns and all that instead of just the regular pad thai. Someone wants to talk to you about that right now. Oh, Satara! Okay, Erica, decisions, decisions. Would you like one question that if you answer correctly will win you $1,000, or do you want to double down? Two questions correctly answered for $2,000. What should she do? Two questions. You're going to double questions. down? Yeah. She's going to double down. Oh, she's going for it. That's nuts. Now, we have to get you a category, Erica. Hit me. Yes, I've got a sex tape. <laughs> Here we go. The girls from the convent are watching. They're very proud of you. Good luck with these two questions. What Motley Crue drummer showed off more than his tattoos in a sex tape with Pamela Anderson? Tommy Lee. Tommy Lee is right. That's right. Halfway there. Good luck. Second question. What Miami Vice star entered the new world of celebrity stardom when he videotaped a sexcapade with an ex-girlfriend? Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell is right! You have just won $2,500. Hi, Stuart Francis. Is Erica pretty enough to be in the movies? You bet your ass.